Hello, and welcome to episode two of Mr. M's math class. Holy moly, I was blown away at all of your work. So thank you so much for sending those in. Um, and I'm excited to see your work in the future because it was just amazing. So thank you so much for sending that in. Um, just a reminder, just a quick picture and you can send it to my email um, and then I will get them. And then, uh, yeah, just thank you so much. It was awesome. So I'm going to go over the agenda for today's episode. Uh, first, I'm going to share some pictures um, that some of your parents sent of some of you looking at the video from episode one. So I figured it'd be nice to see each other doing some of the math. Uh, two, I'm going to introduce the new estimation 180 um, given today by Ryan. Uh, three, we're going to look at each other's work. So I'm going to uh, actually have pictures of everyone's work that turned it in. So you'll get a chance to see each other's work. Um, four, I'm actually going to kind of highlight all some of the things that I, everyone saw in their work and um, I'm going to show that on the whiteboard so you'll be able to see kind of what everybody else sent me. Like, oh, I saw that, about, or oh, I didn't think about that. Um, five, I'm going to introduce the new challenge, uh, the new math exploration for the next few days. So um, I'll do a little quick introduction and you'll have some time to explore that on your own. Six, I'm going to introduce the next coloring mural project. Uh, you'll get to see the finished product. Um, and then I'm also going to introduce uh, Ken Ken's. Uh, some of you already know this. And so uh, I'm just going to really quickly talk about that. And then finally, I'll have a goodbye message, and then you'll have the answer to the estimation 180. So let's get started with our pictures um, of some of the students looking at the first video. So here you go. Again, wow, thank you so much for sending those videos, guys. Uh, please keep sending them in, and if you want to be featured, uh, just take a snap of your child um, or kid just looking at the video, and then I'll put it in the next episode. Um, now it's time for our Estimation 180. Again, this was created by Ryan, um, and his question is, how many Lego pieces is in this space station set? So here you go. Thanks for that question, Ryan. Um, so now I'm going to uh, show everybody's work. So just know that it's only going to be three seconds per student's work. And so if you would like to spend some more time looking at everyone's work, you can always pause the video. So don't forget that you can do that. Uh, but here's everybody's work.
thanks again for sending all that work. It's amazing. Um, I hope that while you were looking, you saw some similar things or maybe something new that you hadn't thought about when you first looked at the pattern. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the count. This is where we left off. And, um, and then I'm going to highlight some of the things that you might have seen. So um, I'm going to keep counting. So, one of the first things that uh, I saw in all of your work was that a lot of you noticed that um, this bottom row was adding three every time. And that seemed to be pretty obvious to a lot of you. I saw that probably the most in anybody's work, in, ev in everyone's work. Um, and a lot of you also noticed that that is the case across each single row, which is pretty cool. Um, and so I'm wondering why that is, you know, I don't know, you can think about that. Um, the next thing that people notice is across each row as well, was that this was kind of like the row of three fourths. Each um, number, each mixed number here has a three fourths next to it, mine, except for the first one. Same for the second row. This one is the row of two fourths. Some of you called it. And the third row was the row of one fourths. And then the last row was just whole numbers. And um, it was something, somebody noticed that every fourth number was a whole number. So one, two, three, and then the fourth number is a three. And then one, two, three, four, and then the next number is a whole number. It's a six, and then a nine, and then a 12, and then a 15. I wonder why it's every fourth number. Why is it that every fourth number is a whole number? I'm wondering if it has something to do with why I chose to make this be four rows. And I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that it's fourths. Would this be, would it be a whole number every time if it was fifths or sevenths or eighths? I don't know. Maybe you can try exploring that on your own time. Be pretty cool, um, but those are some of the things that I saw from all of your work. So thank you again for sending those in. Um, and then in this next little part, we're gonna I'm gonna introduce the next uh, math exploration. All right, time to introduce our second math exploration. And I have um, set up this whiteboard that was provided to us, which is pretty great. Um, so, the next math exploration is called, What is up with Mr. Maldonado? That guy's weird. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it. I am going to show you one possible way to solve the first question. Then I'll give you the due date. So, it says, there is a table. There is some items. And this is the number of students that that item serves. And so... Uh, it says, Mr. Maldonado is ordering math supplies for the 75 fifth graders he's going to have next year. Number one, how many boxes of calculators does he need to order to serve all the fifth graders? Show your work in both words and numbers. Two, how many boxes of binders does he need to order to serve all the fifth graders? Show your work in both words and numbers. And number three, each set of mechanical pencils costs twenty-seven dollars. How much money would Mr. Maldonado have to spend to have enough mechanical pencils for all the students in fifth grade? Write an equation that would match this problem, then solve and show your work in words and numbers. So there's three parts to this question, um, to this uh, exploration, and the last question, as you notice, has a couple parts. Um, we're going to talk about the first one. Um, I'm going to do that here. And then um, you're kind of on your own for the other two questions. So the first question says, how many boxes of calculators does he need to order to serve all the fifth graders? And so a, ba a box of calculators serves three students according to the chart. So a uh, box of calculator, calculators cost $3. Uh, oh, three students. 
get any mistake. It's okay to make mistakes if you need to start over. That's why we do the whiteboard and uh, use a whiteboard eraser. You can also use pencils or just cross it off. I love mistakes. Um, so it says uh, there are 75 fifth graders. And so each box has three. So I could just add threes until I get to close to 75. So that's one box, two boxes, uh, plus another three. That's three boxes here, plus another three. That's the fourth box. Um, and that is 12, plus another three. And then I get 15, that's the fifth box. And then I could add another three. And then I get 18, and then that's the sixth box. So each circle here represents my number of boxes. And so then I get 21, that's the seventh box. Then plus three again, um, that's 24. Um, and then that is the eighth box plus three, that's 27. That's the ninth box plus another three, that's 30. That's the 10th box. It's taking a long time. I'm wondering if you guys can think of more efficient ways of me trying to figure out this answer. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to let you guys uh, think about this because I'm sure there's a faster way of doing this. So I'm going to stop there. I forget to mention one thing. Uh, the This math exploration is due on March 24th, which is a Tuesday at noon. So um, if you are turning that in, how you turn that in is take a picture of your work and then send it to my email. Again, that email is right here. So please make sure to send me that email. Thank you. All right, next up, I'm going to show you the new coloring mural. This is a uh, Disney mural and it looks really awesome. So here's the finished product. Also, um, I'm going to include a Ken Ken that you can do and the instructions on how to do the Ken Ken are actually on the sheet. And so there's ranges from three by three all the way to I believe nine by nine. So feel free to do those as well on your own time. All right, kiddos, that does it for the episode two. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I just wanted to say that I know things are, this is a really weird time. Um, and I know that all of you guys are really strong. A um, couple things to remember, you know, give your parents lots of love, be patient with them, uh, listen to them. Um, you know, this is really hard for everybody. So any, any way that you can be positive, you have siblings, be leaders, um, talk to them, entertain them. Um, it's also okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. It's okay to ask questions. Um, it's okay to be curious. It's okay to be worried. Um, just make sure that you are sharing those things and not keeping them inside because a lot of us are feeling those things. And so um, you guys are really amazing. Thank you so much for all your work. I'm looking forward to next episode's work because um, again, I'm just blown away at how many of you guys turned it in. So thank you so much for that. And lastly, here is the answer to the estimation. Um, it'll, it'll come right after I'm done talking. So thank you so much and have a good, uh, have a good day.